has no idea what to say now. I don't know. I don't know that paper, man. Welcome back to our last episode of Closing Time here, folks. My first guest tonight is the author of the new book, This Is Not Profanity. Please welcome to the show, Matt DeFevery. <laughs> Glad to have you here, Matt. Thank you very much. Good to see you tonight, sir. Congratulations. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for so, having uh, me. So just to introduce you, you are a senior here at Emerson, correct? I am. You're a WP, B, WLP BFA. You have the literature in there, too, not <laughs> just the writing and publishing. Uh, you're a BFA student, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Excellent. All right, so um, what I want to talk about with you first is, of course, your book. Mm -hmm. This is not profanity, if you want to show it to our sure. lovely studio <laughs> audience here. Um, <laughs> So this is pretty exciting. You, as a senior, you have a published book. Can you tell us how did you actually go about publishing this? Um, this was something that I had submitted to um, the Undergraduate Students for Publishing Club uh, here at um, Emerson, and they selected um, one manuscript out of all the ones they received um, this semester. They do one a semester. They do one bo book a semester. And uh, mine got chosen, fortunately. And uh, Now, I didn't even know we had a publishing group here <laughs> on campus. I, uh, I don't know. I have a really good idea for a screenplay. Know. <laughs> it's called Everyone does, Avatar. Maybe. <laughs> Guess where he was when he found out he got the book? Not in Florida and Disney World, actually. So there he you go. He was in California in California Adventure. <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit about what, what does this book cover? What do you, you, you've written this book, it gotten picked up. What, what do you cover in this book? Uh, this book covers uh, my life with Tourette syndrome growing up um, as a child. Um, I was diagnosed when I was about six, seven years old, and really just kind of chronicling. Um, right now, it's just through elementary school. Um, I've got a lot of other definitely material. I Is this a project you could see uh, progressing? You'd want to add more to it Absolutely. as you go along? Absolutely. And um, the great thing about um, publishing this, too, I retain um, all the rights to the material here, so nice. I can expand on it, um, really kind of do whatever I want with it, thanks to um, everybody. I understand you have a, a story in there about being in third grade, <laughs> uh, sort of <laughs> discovering lingerie, if you will. Yeah, my, uh, my mom was substitute teaching at that time. Um, and unfortunately, um, it was the day that my friend decided he was going to bring in a book of, lingerie, of women in lingerie. And we were sitting in the back room, um, really secretly like tearing out pictures and like putting them and in And you pockets. got caught by your mom. I got caught by my mom. <laughs> of all the days that this kid brings in the lingerie, you get caught by your mother. It's terrible. Not really. My teacher probably wouldn't have been any better uh, <laughs> getting caught by. Uh, but my mom's probably the... I think the, worst the only way that could have been worse is if your grandma had been like <laughs> subbing that day. You're in third like, what grade, are you ripping at, out Sonny? profanity <laughs> pictures. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, grandma would have been grandma would have been scarring. I didn't even know what a magazine was in third grade, so <laughs> you must have went to an advanced school because <laughs> it's beyond me. Um, so you're a, you're a senior, you're an RA here at Emerson. Correct. You're out in the field, taking one for the team, the RA. It's a dangerous <laughs> job. Do they give you bulletproof dangerous. vests? Is that why? We do bulletproof okay. vests, and for fire drills, uh, flashlights and uh, orange reflector jackets. Yeah. Not everyone can have that. Not everybody. We're lucky. So we're, we're coming up on commencement now, mm -hmm. which means that you're going out into the big scary world. What are you? Uh, what are your plans for after commencement? Um, I've got a job as a resident director now um, at a small little college in Ohio called Hiram College. Um, it's a lot smaller than Emerson. It's 1,200. Nice. Students, <laughs> which is uh, tiny. But. Have you been out there yet? Have you seen the college? I have. I have. And what, now you're you're going from Boston, Massachusetts to Hiram, Ohio. What is, what is it like out there? Is it just a bunch of cows? Are you going to be in charge <laughs> of a bunch of like, cows at college? I don't. I've never <laughs> been to Ohio. Cow college. Cow <laughs> college. We have a cow dormitory that we just house <laughs> all of them. Are in you in charge of that one? Um, it's not decided yet, but I'm pulling for that one. I yeah. would like to. <laughs> Lots of free milk. Oh, I'd absolutely. Imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, uh, so this is exciting, though. About the book, you have mm -hmm. a reading and a signing coming up this Correct. Thursday, I understand. You're yep, going to be in the Green Theater here on campus, mm -hmm. 6 p.m. Now, will you have copies of the book with you, or are you going to be selling it? I will. There are going to be several copies uh, available for uh, purchase at $8 a book. Um, I will be there to sign as well. There's going to be a little 15, 20-minute reading um, in the beginning, and then signing after that so that's excellent yeah. ladies and gentlemen matt defavory a published thank student here on campus thank fuck, you so much baby. Matt. we'll be back with more closing time right after this folks that's awesome My musical guest tonight, they have an album out. It's called Hello, Greetings from a Bunker. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Stereo Flies. You 
guys awesome we're gonna hear more from them later in the show but for right now we're going to a commercial break stay tuned for more closing time right after this folks thank you so much guys give it up for the stereo flies one more time I forgot to mention this earlier, our guest Matt before, he has a website for his book, it's www.thisisnotprofanity.com, so be sure and check that out. Um, now on to something a little bit, uh, a little bit serious here. A little bit serious. Um, you know, as we time. mentioned earlier tonight, this is my final episode here at Closing Time, and it is also the last episode for Dean and our producers and our creators, uh, Matt Sadler and Dave Napoli. We're all going to be burning uh, the studio <laughs> down later. It's going right to be exciting stay down Marshmallows. We, uh, okay. we would like to take a look back at... Some of the best moments over the last four semesters. Highlights. Take a look at this, folks. Let's go to the highlights. Here's your host, Vinny Moran. I'm going to read off the teleprompter now. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Brothers McCann. Here's Sadler's third bottle. Not even halfway full. It's probably because he has a vagina. I just rickrolled you as I mean, Kermit, Kermit the Frog. And I'm not going to sleep either. But that's for totally different reasons. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you my beautiful co-host, Meredith Constant, over here. Give it up for Meredith. Yes. yes. Hey, everyone give it up for Gabby Conti. Yeah. Eric Goldrich, everyone. Yeah. Let's hear it for Eric. Yeah. Gentlemen, please give it up for Goldie. Is she blonde? Oh my God. That we probably have the ugliest co-host I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our announcer, Dean Dimitrik. <laughs> Senator John McCain hasn't stimulated anything in 40 years. There, you're in a banana suit. Every man watches porn. <laughs> I'm watching it right now. <laughs> what? The it is time for our musical guest and guestee, the two of them, uh, Mariah McFarland and Drew. Sweatpants in general. Um, and <laughs> there's one gift this holiday season that's right for everyone. Have you seen my snitch, sir? Is your number 4,325? No. I correctly predicted that you would say no. Snitch! Oh my god, can I tell you a story? Maybe you and I would make out? I don't know. Something. That's, that's Something. after the show. It's a little bit of, yep, yeah, there we go. Just right in the hamstrings. Carol Channing. What the? Please welcome to the show, everyone, Alibi District. My hero is the masturbating bear. I like him better. Welcome, Dean Dimitrik, reading the public safety log, everybody. Check it out! Check it out! The giant triangle on the wall! The way it goes is frosty. The snowman was a holly jeffy so Something like that. No. Uh, no. Holly What? I don't, I don't even know the word. All right, yeah, there. <laughs> You know, Dean, Jill, I thought that penises only shrunk in cold water, but apparently they shrink in anything cold. All right, God, there goes my chin. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm doing well. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I am the dark prince of trees. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when I think about it, I poop a little bit in my pants. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call you back. What the? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Caitlin Clampett. Hitler does not ride unicycles. Unicycles ride Hitler. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Hi. Closing time isn't closing time unless it's awkwardly long and painful to watch. 
No! No! Oh! But here's the important part. Does Conan O'Brien have an Evie Award? From all of us here at Closing Time, I'm Vinny Mraz, and I'm a prissy little girl. Was that in the script? I don't remember you. Oh, what the f hey! We'll take a break, folks, but we'll be right back with more Closing Time. Stay tuned, everybody. Yeah!